So admittedly, people ask me a lot, what's my favorite thing about night vision? And there's a lot of things that I love about night vision. But admittedly, one of my favorite things to do under night vision is use clip-ons and shoot at distance. It's super fun, it's super challenging, and it's just something, honestly, I love. But truthfully, when I first got into clip-ons and started using clip-ons, I wasn't impressed. And there's two key reasons why I wasn't impressed. One, I really hadn't dialed in my focus yet. Focus is a very big part of using clip-ons. You've got to have your focus set right on your scope. You've got to have your focus set right on your clip-on. So today, we're going to do a video on how to properly focus your clip-on device, specifically the L3 CNBD LR. So let's get into it. Like I said, when I first started using clip-ons, I really wasn't impressed. And like I said, one of the reasons was I wasn't focusing it correctly. And admittedly, one of the other reasons was the tube and the performance of the clip-on wasn't there. And before we get into focus, one thing I'll let you guys know is when I first started using clip-ons, my first experience was with a green refurb PBS 30. And honestly, the tube just wasn't there. It, the performance of the tube wasn't there. And when you stretch that out to magnification, things really started to degrade. Combine that with a lack of really understanding how to focus it properly and taking the time to tone in my image, I wasn't impressed. Fast forward, really put some time in with clip-ons getting better clip-ons, having good unfilmed white phosphor tubes in these CMB DLRs, and even the new Knights PVS 30s with the white phosphor tubes, it really took me to a place where I started really enjoying clip-ons. So the main point, how to focus it. Let's get into it. So the first part of your focus is truthfully going to start with your day scope. And those that shoot a distance a lot understand the importance of a proper parallax adjustment. So what that's going to do is that's going to focus the parallax of your scope for the approximate distance that you're shooting. That's going to really fine, fine tune your image. That's going to really give you the image that you want and maximize what the performance of your day optic can do. So this is a ZCO 4 to 20, really good piece of glass. But if you don't focus the parallax right, you're not going to get the performance out of it that you want. Also, that's going to be something, a focus that you move uh, as you're shooting and changing distances, things like that. That's going to be kind of a constant adjustment. Um, but before working back, before you even get started, you've got your ocular adjustment. You're going to want to focus your ocular adjustment to your eye. And before you even get started with focusing the clip on or the parallax, if you don't have a good ocular focus, then everything else is going to crumble. So start with your ocular focus with no clip on on, set that to your eye, and you're going to focus that off your reticle, much like you would focus on the output screen of a tube when you're focusing helmet mount and night vision. Then, like we said, the parallax, that's going to change. So now that you've got your core understanding and focus with your day optic, and you probably do if you're kind of making the jump into clip ons, but that's step one. Step two is very simple. Once you get your clip on on, you're gonna have one primary focal adjustment. And on the CMB DLR, it's this lever right here. So what that's gonna do is your distance focus. So when you get behind the rifle, first, really kind of determine about what distance you're wanting to shoot. Get your, get your clip on in like a general good focus and then fine tune your parallax. And then you can come back and make minute adjustments on the clip on. That's gonna really make sure that you've got both parallax and the focal point of your clip-on set perfectly because with adding the clip-on, the parallax can tweak a little bit from daytime distances. So that's why those, those minute adjustments really do make a difference and really tone up and clear your image. So ultimately, very easy to do. You just gotta understand the proper process and what to focus off. Your ocular, you're focusing off your reticle and that's just to your the prescription of your eye. The parallax in your day scope is the focusing for the distance that you're shooting. And the focal adjustment on the clip-on is also for the distance uh, that you're shooting with, um, with the clip-on. So that's how you do it, guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. As always, make sure to subscribe for more educational content and um, stay on the lookout because the next video that we're going to release is what makes a good clip-on setup. So if clip-ons are your thing, we got more coming for you. So uh, see you soon.